Hello! Welcome to Ark, the complete series. Well, we managed to make it through uh, the actual tech cave. So I'm trying to sort all of these lot out. Uh, I'm keeping a hold of the, the meat. Because uh, that could come in handy for the yew trees. It looks like so far some of them have, have managed to keep a hold of the uh, the stuff that I gave them, the, um, oh, you've got tons of meat, you don't need any, wow. Oh, I haven't said that, I'll, I'll use that to, to try and heal, uh, heal that one, so it probably doesn't make sense to throw it away. It's so, like this one's got all of its, um, stuff still left, all of its sweet veggie cake still left, so that's a good thing. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna basically sort these out, because they're all just bunched up and stuck by the looks of it. I need to sort them out, heal them up as best I can. Then we're going to go and take on the Overseer. Right then. This seems to have gone slightly better than I was hoping for, because I've got, uh, by the looks of it, I've got 12 Therizinos. Now, I came into here with 18, because I know I left numbers 19 and 20 outside, because I didn't think I'd be able to fit that many through. Um, so yeah, so we've lost six along the way. So not too bad, I expect them to, to get a lot more. I mean, uh, health-wise they're fine because they haven't been doing much, to be honest. I mean, they've probably taken some hits when I, I, every now and again when I did um, get them to fight. Um, but it seems that most of them have still got their sweet veggie cake. I know, I know one or two of them have obviously been, been eating it because obviously they'll do get hungry. Uh, they will have been taking damage every now and again. So yeah, that one's down to 19. Uh, this Yuri... He's doing fine. Uh, so I think we're all... Would be okay to go. Except for Grimy over here. For some reason, I don't know what's going on with Grimy. But I can't get her... I can't get her to, to speed up on the healing. I mean, she's, she's healing at her own pace. But the trouble is... I mean, I'm, I'm force-feeding her meat. It's not, it's not having any effect for some strange reason. I mean, I, I brought all this exceptional kibble, uh, superior kibble rather along. Uh, that was for the Daedons, because the plan was I, I gave them enough kibble. Um, and then I put some extra spares on the actual Udris. I was going to give these some spare um, sweet veggie cake as well. But the trouble is it just weighed them down. It's, I think each stack's like 60, which is just nuts. Um, so I, I don't know what's up with... Um, with Grimy. I mean, one thing to bear in mind is that since the last video, I logged out uh, and I just had to take a break because it was like an hour. So I, I logged out, left the server running. As uh, far as I was aware, you know, once we get up to here, we're fine. We, we just need that one hour to get through uh, the tech cave. Then we're free to explore this area, go onto the overseer, and then we'll start a new timer. But I don't know. I, I just don't know what's going on. It's just. You can see it's obviously, you know, you've got the little countdown as usual. But I'm not seeing a, a health go up there any quicker. Um, so I might have to sit this out a while. Oh, hang on a bit. 3719. Because no, normally you'd see that going up at a much faster rate. So I, I don't know, it's just a bit weird. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's kind of weird anyway, because I've got this delay, like, you tell the, I tell the dinos to go somewhere, and they're like, yeah, whatever. Oh, you wanted to go somewhere? Right, okay, I'll go there. But, I don't know, it's a bit weird at the moment. So, I'm not sure what that is, but I don't want to go in there with, with her not at full spec. I mean, I, I don't expect to get much out of Sooty here, because, I mean, Sooty was bred as a, to be a, a, a replacement for Grimy, to be honest, if I lost her. The plan was he'd take over. He doesn't have like auto courage draw and he doesn't have much to do. I mean, he's got pretty good health. I've packed as much health into these things as I could. I mean, I've, I've actually come along with a lot of uh, element because I was going to bring a tech rifle, but to be honest, I've, um, I was carrying that much stuff. I just didn't have the room for it. So I, I should have probably just taken that back out, to be honest. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I can to try and get this, uh, this Utri healed up quickly. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to have to wait until he, uh, until she heals up on our own. But otherwise, we seem okay. We just don't have any deer duns. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. We lost six. Seems we lost six um, along the way. Six Therizinos and both Deodons, which is just plain unfortunate. But uh, we'll just have to see how we can do them with what we've got. See you in a short while, hopefully. Ah, finally. Right, after about 20 minutes of force feeding, I've now got Grimy up to full health, so that's good. I mean, I've I burned through probably all of the, the meat any of these uh, Therizinos were carrying. <laughs> oh, that's true. Right. Come on, Lottie. Let's get moving. I'll have to see see how this goes and get this show on the road. So, I must admit, I really like when they added this. I mean, it was interesting to, originally just to sort of like teleport, if you will, and ascend, but the then they added this in. It's it, it certainly left you know like left you guessing as to what was going on. Uh, just have to remember to get the explorer notes. To be honest, I don't need them. I've I've played the game before, so I don't get any like credits for it. Um, and I, yeah, like the avatar here. I mean, he's got uh, he, he's maxed out his XP, so he can't get any more anyway. So it's kind of academic to be honest. But it's a long walk, I must admit, to get all the way down to the Overseer. Should be another one around. Oh, there. I think that's one over there. That's two. Uh, it's kind of weird. I think once you've once you've actually played the game, I think it records that you've actually got those notes but it's not even though even though this dude hasn't actually been up here before he's not getting any credit at all but I've, I've done it before with other uh, with other uh, characters that's those two there now the plan is it's I'm just gonna go all out I'm, I'm gonna set all these lot on aggressive uh, get them to take out everything. They'll take out all of the land drones, they'll, they'll t attack the Overseer. The only thing I have to be concerned about is really the air drones, and that's mostly because they're annoying more than anything. Um, I know when the Overseer... Th there are times where the Overseer puts up like a defensive shield and you can't attack it, but these things hopefully will just keep pressing on and trying to um, attack it, because as soon as that shield goes down then they'll go after it again. Um, that seems to be working well. So really the only thing about the drones is just that it, it tends to blind you a bit. Um, I'm trying to remember there's another note, there's another explorer note around here somewhere. I almost forget where it is. It's always somewhere you least expect it to be. There it is, there. And then you've got another note right at the far end. Right, so I've got my bruise going. Uh, I've got my fur gear on, I've got my uh, tech armor, boots, got some spares, shotgun. Right, so right over in that corner is where we'll find another note if we ever want it. And they're just going to follow me around for now, but I'm, once the battle starts, I'll just put them on aggressive and just leave it to them. And I'll leave them to it. I mean, I'll I'll chase after them to give them courage. I'll try to stay out the way of the boss because you can get like electrifying attacks from it. There's, there's not much I can do about this noise level. It's ridiculously loud. Yeah, sorry about that. It's just ridiculously loud, the, the level. I don't know why, but you can't... Even if you turn the volume down on the on music, it's still ridiculously loud. Right, so he's going to summon all these minions. So there's the, the defense units. Um, which I want to stay out the way of. 
I want to stay out the way of that beam if I can. I mean, it will, it will, pour, well, basically, it knocks me off the, um, it knocks me off the u -tube. There, these things there, see? It's an electrifying attack, so it knocks me off the u -tube. But that's about it. And it stuns them. My main interest is, they're just going to keep chasing after this thing for ages until it's, until they can attack it. I'll have to be careful because she's uh, only got so much stamina. As long as it's... Right, I may as well get some rid of these things because they're annoying. As long as there's nothing coming after the Yugri, I'm not too fussed. And as I said, they don't do that much, but I may as well get rid of them and just leave the the, uh, the Therizinos to go after the boss. This is the way it will form a... I'll have to be careful when it turns into its little tech boss's mind. Because that can be a pain. Right, let's see if I can catch up with them and then we can give them some, uh, some courage. Go on. I'm quite happy for them to just to kill the defence units, because when the defence units are finished, all that's left is the boss, so they'll go and attack the boss anyway. I mean, they've done a bit of damage so far. Oh, oh that was close. As you can see, it sort of like paralyzes them. It's, you would have to run away at the time. It paralyzes them so they can't go anywhere. Oh, well, why, why am I not getting any uh, courage draw here? There we go. Alright, you're going to attack whatever it is you need to attack. I'll try and stay out of its way. It doesn't take much for them to take out the defense drones. So now it's vulnerable again. Ah, oh, right, it looks like it's going to summon something, I think. Yeah, it's summoned something. Ah, oh, it's, it's summoned the, uh, like, the equivalent of the Megapithecus. And that'll, I think that'll wander around and start attacking. Um, my lot anyway, so it's fine. I have a sneaking suspicion that they're not going anywhere near that Mega Pythagus. Hopefully they can take that down quickly enough. Yeah, they're going pretty fast. I've got to stay out the way of those rocks because otherwise it'll break my armour. I think it's random in the order in which these get summoned because I've sometimes seen them actually turn up where you see the Broodmother version, then you get the Megapithecus, then you get the Dragon. It seems to be totally random, I think. See if I can stay out the way. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I get knocked off the EP, it's just an annoyance more than anything. So obviously they're trying to attack it, but they can't because it's uh, it's got a force shield up. Oh, stay out the way. I mean, when I was doing this with a Tech Rex, it was easier because the Tech Rex could... Um, I, I was using the Tech Rex to do all this. I let the tech wrecks do all the uh, the damage to the defense units, and then that way they just focused on the boss. Well, not them, the uh, the alloys that I had. Hmm, that was close. Right, hopefully those. I want them. I want them to come up with defense units. To be honest, if they can take the land ones out, I can then focus on the air defense ones.
Because what I find, if I, if I don't do anything about these, they start to get annoying. So where are we up to then? Nearly halfway. Better go and give them a courage roll. I mean they're doing quite a bit of damage, which is good. Ooh, that was close. So because they're unaggressive, they're just going around attacking anything and everything, quite frankly. Why are you coming up to me? Go after the boss, will you? I'm serious. Don't waste your time over here. Go after the boss. Unless they're, unless they're interested in these. But obviously you can't hit them, can you? Ah, see that. They're unaggressive, so they're... At least they are going after the boss, or at least they're trying to. Or some of them are, anyway. I don't, I don't know what benefit that Yutri brings, because I don't know if it's... I, I mean, I don't think it can sort of like... Um, nah. I don't think it can obviously fear these attack drones, because they're mechanical. <laughs> can't see how that would help it anyway. Oh, it looks like we're going to get something else next. Possibly a dragon, maybe a broodmother, who knows. Seriously, you look. Where's that? Oh, it's the broodmother one. Go on. May as well take it on. But I'll have to I'll have to be careful with that one because the As I say it, it, it does have its own damage capabilities, a bit like the broodmother does. Ow, ow, ow. So these things are just an annoyance to be honest. But if I don't do something about them, you end up you end up probably getting blinded all the time by them. I kind of like lose the, lose the track and I need to keep an eye on those Therizinos for instance. That sounded like they defeated that. Yeah, they did. Ooh, down about a quarter-ish. Get out of the way because I, I don't want to get hit by that electric ray. On the other hand, I don't want to get attacked by a bunch of uh, defense units. It's pretty. Good. Ah, you've got to be really careful because I'm like holding the uh, the button down for, for going forward. And there's always the risk I'll actually walk off the actual dino. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do that. Not among all these lot. Yeah, I've a funny feeling that Yuki is just doing like a like a fear attack or something. Ah. Ow, ow. Oh. Fast, I can't see. Can't get access to our inventory because she's electrified. Ah. Uh. Good view if you've got the time to look out the window. Maybe we should do that more often. Have a peek out the window. Yeah. Go on, you lot. Get moving. Mush. 
I mean, this uh, this UPI only put 3,000 stamina into it. Annoying. That's all it is, it's annoying. But that's another reason I have this uh, Utreon passive as well. Anything that hits me, if the, if the Utre was on neutral and anything hit me, or hit her, it come at, it'll just run away. So at least at the moment, most of the time I've been able to stand on, the, on our back. Ooh, defense units. Almost got boxed in. I am getting boxed in. This is not good. So health-wise, she's doing alright. I'm doing alright. Boss is down to... Ooh, not much health left on the boss. Seriously, now is not the time for a toilet break. Whoa! Go on. All they're doing is they're just playing a game of chase with the thing. Most of the time they get it is when it's um, it's finished. You know, summoning everything and they'll catch it as soon as that shield's down. That tends to be the best time to catch it. Come on, buttons. See if I can go and help these ones. Right, they're off somewhere. I think they just lost the plot or something. Ah, right, the dragon's up and running now. That's 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 nasty. Because that thing, that thing will do a fire attack. Go on, you lot, get moving. So I don't have a Deodon to help me, but at least I had some help from the uh, sweet veggie cake, probably. You look seriously annoying me. Right, it's not coming in this direction, which is good. Come on, get up my way. Ooh. It's a price for not having a, a deer done. Ooh. Ouchie. Toasty. Right, so. Seems feels a bit better now for some strange reason. But I don't know. Right, see if I can stay out the way of that. Trouble is I want to courage roll them as well though. Because they're they're running out of health. Right, now they can go after the boss. Hopefully. Right, so if it goes there, it doesn't have that much health left, interestingly enough. Let's see if I can get... They're running after it, well that's a good sign. Because ultimately that's all I'm interested in. If they can get... if they can attack that, I bet the more they can do that, the better. Um, hang on, where am I? Oh, right, I'm over here. That's not good. Right, hopefully they can catch it on the next turn. Let's see if we can go and help that one over there. 
Oh, something else is coming through. Oh, it's the Megapithecus. At least it doesn't have full health, so that's a good sign. These look don't seem. Come on, you lot. Get over there. I don't know why sometimes I can't whistle them to target. Right, so we need, we need to wait until that uh, shield's down, then we can uh, hopefully take it out. Because at the moment it'll be summoning more defense units, drones and what are they? Be more careful because I don't want to get boxed in here. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, truth. Go and get that. That's the most important thing to hit. So off it goes, it's summoning more things. And I'm just gonna try and stay out of their way. So if I can stay out of their way, or at least drag some of these around, it's possible that thing might destroy... Oh. You look. Come on. Yeah, the more I can drag around, I suppose, the, the more they'll, they'll focus on the actual uh, Overseer bus. So there's not that much left of the Overseer now, so that's a good sign. So hopefully they're actually going to finish this off. I thought I was getting attacked by a drone there, a land one. Come on, folks. Get after it. There's hardly anything left of it, guys and gals. Come on. If they can catch it before it... Yeah, if they can catch that thing before it uh, runs away, it's not so bad. But they're just constantly running after it. <laughs> Yeah, it's put up a four shield, rat. There's hardly anything left of it, though. So hopefully this will be it. We've got we've got ample stamina to go. Well, that's all that's left of the dragon. Ooh, screw. Could have done without a dragon, to be fair. Definitely done without a dragon. Right, so all I've got to do is take that out then. Come on, you lot. We're nearly there. It's hardly anything left. Mm. 
They're determined to take it on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that much damage to be honest. So I'll try dragging these around so then they'll just focus on the boss. <laughs> we did it! Excellent. Hey, you! Oh, thank goodness. It, it would have probably gone better if we'd gone up there with a deer done, but hey, it is what it is. For some strange reason, it's not giving me the, the no. But anyway, where are you? Get all of this lot off me. So um, I've got nothing. You've got nothing. Finally done it! Scorched Earth. Man, this game, it just never gets old. Right, I'm just going to pause it there. We'll finish the credits. We'll see what we're left with. See you shortly. Well, everyone that's left is now patiently waiting by the door. Uh, that's Charlie 19 and 20 because I just left them there. I didn't think I'd be able to get any extras in to be honest, so I left them there. Left Rainbow there. I mean, all this stuff was built. I mean, so like it's a mixture of um, foundations and ceilings, S plus ones that I've put in. Um, good thing about S plus is I could actually slot some foundations below them for a bit of aesthetics. But to be honest, there's there's this big massive area left in the middle where I couldn't fill in, uh, so I ended up I started off putting pillars up, uh, but then I found if I if I decided you know destroy a part, a lot of the pillars would come crashing down. So I ended up building walls around it because I didn't want anybody um, pathing and then ending up in the lava. The trouble is there's a little patch down here which I couldn't touch. I don't have the um, the option to build over areas. Uh, so that was a bit of a pain. So there's little patches there where, if anybody like walks into that, it'll set them on fire. So I ended up like putting everybody into place, and then I built these walls around the outskirts as well, just to try to stop anybody falling in. So out of curiosity, let's see what we've got left. So you've got you're not doing too bad actually. I think, I think it would have gone a lot better if I'd had... I mean, I don't necessarily need that amount of Ferrazinos, to be honest, if I'd had the Deard on. It would have gone a lot better. The, the end boss fight is a lot, lot easier. The hardest part of this is actually getting through the tech cave, I find. It's a real struggle getting through the actual... Um, get you just getting through the door, even. It's a real hassle. Uh, let's see how you've done. But that was having that sweet veggie cake, because I, I put it uh, uh, on all of them, I gave them like a stack of 30, so it, uh, it obviously did well. It's just unfortunate one of them did uh, go, but I've, I've got confidence that if you do it with a, you know, take a deer on in, it would go better. I mean, I'd, I've normally said I wouldn't normally bother with a deer on to me, they were a waste of time, but if you, if you can actually breed a decent level one, it's a lot better. Or at least it goes a lot better, I should say. We're missing it. I think we're missing a Therizino for some reason. Yeah, we seem to be missing a Therizino. I don't remember losing. Uh, we're missing a Yugri, I should say. I don't remember. That's odd. I don't remember the uh, other Yugri going. Hmm. Let's 
Look how much healthy you got. Yeah, probably got. I mean, to be honest, it's um, probably been sitting around here a short while. It might have gone into hibernation or something. I don't know. And they might have just suddenly started rapidly eating that uh, sweet veggie cake while I was waiting for the countdown. Effectively, I found it. You don't have to necessarily in this on the island. You don't necessarily have to rush into that like sphere to get um, you know um, ascended. Um, you do, I think, on extinction, but it doesn't have any effect when you're doing it on this map. I'm, so I'm just doing out of habit because there's, there's once I actually, I was too keen to get that note, uh, that last explorer note, so I didn't bother. I, I went straight, straight to that. Um, next thing I know, I was get, I was just getting ascended. So it, it, as soon as you kill the boss, it, it obviously starts the timer, and that's it. You'll get ascended whether you want, whether you're ready or not. Whereas I think on extinction. If you don't get into the actual um, into that little dome that gets built up, uh, you won't ascend. Yeah, man. It's not bad. I think I'm. I'm. I'm I am pleased. I must admit, because obviously we managed to win. Um, my only gripe, I think, was just losing those, losing so many of them. Six dadons, uh, six six therizinos. I wasn't too fussed about, but losing both dadons, that just that just plain sucks. <laughs> I would have thought, I think that's grimy over there, not uh, city. So I think I must have lost city. You've got most of your sweet veggie cake still in tap. Will you get out the way, man? It's getting more really banded on the plumbing name. Yeah, it's rubber banding on that uh, pillar there. Right, so I'll have all my bits and bobs back, thank you very much. Uh, put them on, that, that on, put these on, these on, these on, that'll do me. So let's just see what uh, state these are in, because obviously we did lose one Therizino in that fight. Not bad. I mean, the only difference about these ones and the ones I used against the Alpha Dragon, the, the original ones had much higher health than this. They suffered. Um, Charlie Company, I gave them less health and more melee. The trouble is, you, you hardly get any points out of uh, melee. At, at least I don't, anyway. So it takes a massive amount of XP to be put into that to get anywhere. And what I did is I took them up from 500,000 XP to 1 million. It would have been a, an event going on at the time because it cost me less. It cost me a lot of gigas, but it doesn't um, cost me as much as it would have done under normal times. So they've pretty much got their health intact. So what I did is I, I boosted their levels a bit more. Um, and then I just put it all into the melee. So... Probably could have gone in there with like less health and more more melee to be honest and it would have gone a lot quicker. But the main thing is you actually did it! So now we can start thinking about getting over to, to, to Scorched Earth. Um Well That's all for another video. So thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. If you do like this episode, then do please leave a like. Uh, for whatever reason, Google seems to... Not Google, YouTube seems to think that if a, a video gets likes, other people might want to watch it, in which case they you know, they suggest it to more people. And that would, would definitely in me, be in my favour if you could add a little like there for me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, if you'd like to see more of this content, yes, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon, though, and then you get notifications when I send new content out. But until next episode, thank you very much for watching. Bye!